What is that? BIOS? BIOS for what? For the QNAP. Okay, well, guys, today we are going to do the update on our QNAP. Just follow the steps uh, I'm going to give you and it's going to be very, very easy. All right, guys, let's go and do this right now. First of all, uh, I'm going to put the links down below. You guys got to go to this uh, link and uh, uh, make sure you go uh, and follow all these uh, steps. Now, before you guys do that, I just holding my phone in my hands. I'm sorry about that because I'm doing a quick video. And before you guys do that, make sure you go to your NAS and check it out the BIOS. Now, in order to do that, you got to go to CC information in your NAS and uh, check in system information and you guys will see what is your uh, a BIOS um, version. In my case, I'm sorry, let me fix this. In my case, my BIOS is the R11, this one right here. Uh, now this one is different, you know, you guys can see it's a, a R16 and let's see what is the difference with this one and the other one. And you know what? I was thinking to leave it like that, but uh, uh, since it's a very good uh, uh, new features, I'm gonna do this um, update. And um, now you guys gotta be very, very careful. Make sure you download uh, your your uh, uh, your uh, BIOS from uh, QNAP. Don't go anywhere else because of course you guys know how is the how's the thing. You guys gonna get screwed up. But uh, make sure you guys remove, um, follow the instructions. Uh, I'm gonna put the uh, the link down below. Uh, let me see this one right here. How to update in. Oh, you guys can look it in QNAP. Oh, in your search updating the BIOS on QNAP NAS. And you guys gonna have two versions. You guys gonna have the uh, UEFI version, that's the one I got, and you guys gonna have the legacy version. The legacy version uh, is dependent the system, QNAP uh, give you a list of those uh, uh, legacy versions right here at the end of this page, and basically you guys can see what is all uh, this about right here. If you're not seeing here, you just gotta follow the directions for that. If it's not, just go and use the uh, UEFI version, all right? Now, make sure you guys remove all your drivers, all your drivers. No matter if you got a SSDs, no matter NVMEs, you guys gotta remove everything. And it's gonna be like the traditional computer, you know, just connect a keyboard, connect your uh, screen to the back of your, if you got a, a car, is video card installed, Make sure to install it to your NAS, not to the uh, uh, card you uh, use uh, to uh, anything else, like any NVIDIA or something like that. Make sure to plug it back to your NAS, then uh, power on the system and click F. If F or uh, F12 uh, uh, or delete, and you guys will see the uh, screen. Uh, prompt him to uh, go to the uh, um, uh, menu and you guys gotta look for that now. Let's go and remove all the drives. Now you guys know how to do it, depending how is your NAS, you're gonna remove all your drivers and let's go and remove all the drivers and then uh, make sure uh, you guys get a USB, any USB, be it um, uh, uh, big enough, it's good for it. And uh, let's go and do this. And Let's start the uh, update and see how it works. All right, guys. Well, I got this guy already naked, completely naked right here, super light. And well, I got everything um, apart in the order you're supposed to do it. Remember, write up uh, the order where each hard drive goes. Also, not only that, uh, any uh, uh, SSDs 
any MV means this one is going in on, on the top, this one is going on the bottom. Just sign it up right there. You guys can use blue tape, it's safe, nothing is gonna damage. You guys, you guys can remove it easily. And also, right here, I got well, my I removed the uh, video card just in case the, the one that I installed, not the original, of course. And well, the uh, other extra uh, MBMs I got right here in this guy. I remove it out everything and the way it is just make sure to screw this one back because you have to remove this in order to get all the uh, extras you guys extra cards you guys got right here and the way it is right now we are going to plug this using the power we're gonna connect uh, the uh, um, monitor right here and we are going to use the uh, the uh, keyboard and we are going to install using the USB. All right, let's go and do this. All right, you guys will see something like this. Let me get it closer, starting. And you know, you guys keep pressing F2. I'm sorry, I told you at the beginning, F12 is F2, F2 or Dell. All right, guys. Uh, I gotta do a correction right here. You guys gotta, depending the NAS you guys using, uh, you guys gotta press F2, uh, uh, D E L Dell, or you guys gotta press F7. And I don't know if it's gonna be something else, but I just find out that uh, in this NAS, I gotta use F7 in order to get uh, to the uh, boot uh, screen. All right. Well, we got that. Now let's go and uh, select our uh, BIOS. Let's go and check it out first. And now we are going to select this one. We're gonna select the one that UEFI built in a EFI shell. We're gonna select that one. Okay, and then we're gonna uh, type right there, CD, the number of your uh, basically BIOS upgrade and that NSH then we're gonna press enter now okay, guys remember when you guys uh, download the file make sure to open any file to extract it on the USB and download it on the root of the uh, USB now as soon as you guys going in just uh, press the shell and you don't have to change any boot order because the system is automatically detecting the uh, process and as you guys can see it's doing the upgrade very very good and it's doing everything fine and well after this we just power on the NAS and that's it we got a new BIOS but according with the instructions they said it's going to be more faster and more uh, a different upgrade they did in this new BIOS but you gotta do it correctly because I got a few problems because I download the uh, folder and you're supposed to extract it first. That's what I did right, but I put the whole folder inside the USB and it didn't recognize it. Now you gotta get the three files separately and put it inside the USB. And then when you guys go into the uh, bio settings, just press uh, the uh, shell uh the one i i show you i'm gonna show you uh i showed you pre uh, previously and uh as soon as you do that the system is gonna start doing the upgrade now that is on this nest like i told you guys if you got a different NAS, you gotta find out what is yours if it's in the list it's gonna use the legacy this one is a different version all right well let's let this guy finish here and well let's check it out all right guys and as soon as we're done here we just go back, go to the main menu, and here we are. We got our, our BIOS updated. And take a look at this baby, the AR16. And well, guys, there you have it. If you like this video, please subscribe, share with another guys with QNAPs. And remember guys, make sure follow the steps. Make sure watch the entire video because as you guys remember, it was a lot of things that I have to change at the moment. And depending the NAS you have is how you guys gotta do this upgrade, all right? Take it easy, guys. God bless you all. Thumbs up and see you later.